So let's talk a little bit about sodium. And I've been doing sweat testing in my lab now for quite a long time and have quite a lot of data on this. It seems to me that there are three categories of sodium loss when it comes to people. People who lose very little, meaning under 500 milligrams an hour. People who lose a moderate amount, 500 to 1000 milligrams an hour. And then those people who lose a lot of sodium, 1000 to 2000 plus milligrams per hour. If, if you're in that top category and you don't know it, it's a huge problem for your hydration, absorbing things, just the mix that's in your body to make you perform optimally is just wrong. So you've got to know your sweat loss. That's where I think things like the H-drop sensor connecting straight to your watch give you a lot of data about exactly how much fluid you're losing and how much sodium you're losing. And if you've got that data and you're compiling it over time at different intensities, different heat levels, then you know what you're going to need in a certain race environment and you can track it in real time and fuel that way. Make sure you test everything in training and really find your simple formula that you can repeat. And my idea is that you should be self-sufficient on race day with all you need in terms of sodium and carbohydrates. So the only relying on the aid stations really for water. 